If you're addicted to spending your life savings on tools and a ridiculously oversized toolbox that you don't need, just like me, stick around. I'm gonna show you some of the coolest upgrades I've recently made to the toolbox you see here behind me. Let's get right into this. So the best place probably to start is only the monitors. These are one of the most aggravating things to hook up. I probably could have bought some more expensive ones that are more well built to actually be mounted to a wall or something. These, I had like little inserts on the backside that I had to actually drill some holes in my hutch. I had to widen some holes out so we could get them through. If I was gonna do it again, that would definitely be something that I would pay more attention to. We're powering this thing off of a mini gaming PC. This PC has 16 gigabytes of RAM. It has half a terabyte of SSD. This mini PC came in at around $350. If you're trying to stay inside of my budget, I have less than $800 in everything you see here. That's including the monitors, the PC soundbar, the power outlet, keyboard, mouse, and the lights you're seeing behind me here. You might have to wait till Black Friday or Cyber Monday, what's up on Prime Day. To show you this PC over here, let's, uh, let's take a walk over here, check this thing out. We ended up deciding to mount it inside the locker, which seemed like a really good idea at first, but as we went on, we figured out why this was a bad idea. I don't know if you know anything about wireless Bluetooth devices, but they do not work very well through a enclosed metal container. They will work fine when the door is open, like you see here. But as soon as I would close this locker door like this, Mouse and keyboard did not work anymore. Mouse and keyboard did not work anymore. Mouse and keyboard did not work anymore. So I just buy a USB splitter, which actually come out super, super well. And this will allow me to do that. Other than the PC, the only other thing we have in the locker I didn't mention, and this is something that was not on my budget, something I actually already had sitting at home, was a printer. This is a HP Office Jet. 100% though, this has been probably the coolest thing I've ever done in my toolbox because a big problem that we had inside the service department, every time I go in, I end up spending 10 times as long as I should have been in there. I don't need any of that. I can run the Ford software software that I actually use to diagnose the vehicle and I can run the Ford software that I use to actually hook up to the vehicle and communicate with the models on it all from this little bitty PC. Either way, I really love music software. I had a Dewalt radio that I had for like eight years. I'm sure you guys have seen it posted up behind me here. And after installing the monitors, like it just didn't fit. It just looked bulky, stupid, dumb, how I had it off over to the side. So the sound system is actually made for like home theater stuff. I have a sub right here and I have my soundbar right here. This is all wireless Bluetooth. All I had to do was run one cable down here over here to the side so I can hook up power to it. And the only thing I can say bad about the, the Bluetooth on the PC is I kind of had the same issue with the, the metal case. And the range on this thing is awesome. I mean, like I've drove cars way out in the parking lot and come back and my phone never disconnected from Bluetooth. This sound system will definitely piss off any service riders or any of your coworkers if you like mount music like I do. Uh, so this is also not my $800 budget, but something else that I really wanted. I got tired of standing on my feet all the time. I usually stand up all day and it doesn't bother me, but here recently I've kind of felt the need to sit down. I don't like sitting in little stools and things like that. So especially when I'm up here at my super tall toolbox. So I found this chair on Amazon made by SunX. For what I want to do with it, it serves its purpose. I mean, I'm rarely here for more than five or 10 minutes unless I'm watching my Pornhub channel. So I also, after getting done with all this, I really wanted some better lighting up under the hutch here. I went with some El Cheapo RGB lighting off of Amazon. The lights are super killer. It's kind of trippy if you're into you know, hippie stuff. Also not in the video, I'll probably add something else later on, but I'm going to install some more lights in both of these lockers. So I'll probably try to update something on this video whenever I add those to the box. But this is my toolbox build. This is what I did to improve my workflow from my toolbox. So this is what I would be doing Again, I would do it a hundred times over. I wish I would have done this as soon as I bought the box, but you know, sometimes you just don't have the money. I appreciate y'all watching all the ads. All right, so that's gonna wrap us up for this one. Uh, make sure you check those links out below if you're interested in any of the products I mentioned here. I really appreciate you guys watching and I will catch y'all in the next one. Peace. Hit your red button. Okay, before you put that up though.